we are back guys and by now we already know what are named credentials and how we can store credentials for each and every specific single smallest target within the Oracle Enterprise Manager. The benefit is you don't need to remember the target passwords and it's easy. Now let us take our password saving to another level. I mean Oracle Enterprise Manager allows you to store preferred credentials for a specific group of targets all right so let us first go to security and now we'll be getting into preferred credentials so what are preferred credentials preferred credential is like a group i mean kind of like a group of targets for which you can define default login id and password so that you don't need to actually give id password i mean even named credential all right so okay sorry guys let me rephrase everything so named credential is like uh, id password for a smallest target right id password for your instance id password for your host and so on ultimately you can think like preferred credentials is like let's take you have four or five uh, id password for your target host but you want to define a preferred one the one that you want to use frequently that allows you for preferred credentials so i mean preferred credentials allows you to group the name credentials and also it allows you to define like the i mean the particular credential you want to use frequently to log into the database or the target i hope you get the idea so any which ways when we look at this example you'll understand all right so what I want to do is, okay, we'll start with host because always you have to know how to log into the host. Without logging into the target host, you cannot do anything. So anytime you're working on the credential, guys, start with the host, whether it is a named credentials, whether it is preferred credentials, start with the host, all right? And disclaimer, earlier I mentioned this thing. This thing, the setting up of named credentials and preferred credentials is your choice if you don't want to set it up it's up to you still you can manage your environment but the only problem is every time you need to remember the id password of the target that you're going to log in the beauty about named credentials and preferred credentials is it allows you to store the id password within the oracle Ent enterprise manager and i mean it organizes your environment that's a good thing right so let us get into host and i'll click on manage preferred credentials I want to define the credentials, I mean the named credentials that I will be preferably or I will be using frequently, all right? So default preferred credentials. So definitely guys, when you log into a host, you have two credentials. One is privileged host credential, that is the root user login ID password and the normal host credential, that is the Oracle user, the one that owns the database so the default uh, i mean the default preferred credentials is like let's take your environment has one root password i mean same root user password for all the servers or same oracle user password for all the servers then you will go with the default preferred credentials but as we all know in any environment it will never happen that all the passwords on all the servers are same so I will hide this default preferred credentials. Now, as you come to target preferred credentials, these are the host targets. And we know that we have two hosts right now that is being monitored by Oracle Enterprise Manager. One is OEM host and another one is our target that is the dev server. On each host, definitely we'll have two credentials. One is the named credentials, I mean, sorry, the privileged credential, the another one will be the normal host credential. So we have already defined the name credential, I mean, for all the targets. Now it's time to assign those name credential to the preferred credentials. And as I said, guys, earlier, even if you don't do all this, it's perfectly fine. The only problem is you need to remember all the ID password of your entire environment. Because I'm poor at remembering, I feel like setting up setting these name credentials and assigning them to preferred credential is one of the simplest ways. So let us start with the oem.dbgenesis.com privilege host. That means 
we need to give or assign the root user ID password to this privilege host credential. I'll go to set and this will allow you whether you can choose from your named credential or you can type your new credential. I mean, it's up to you, right? I feel like we should follow some standards so that your environment is simplified, secure, and it looks beautiful uh, on the outside, right? So I am selecting the name credential and I want to select the OEM server root user because I need to assign the privileged host credentials. So I am telling OEM that anytime if I want to log in to the OEM server with the privileged user, then use the root user login ID and password that I have saved under the named credentials. All right, I know it's pretty complex, but once you get used to all this, it will be easy. I'll click on test and save, and this will save this named credential against the OEM privileged host credential. Anytime in the Oracle Enterprise Manager, if I want to log into the OEM server as the root user, I can always select the preferred credentials and it will automatically use the root user named credentials, right? Because we have saved this named credential in our earlier video. On the OEM server, I need to give the normal host credential, that is the Oracle user because Oracle user owns the Oracle database and I will be frequently logging into the OEM server with the Oracle user also in case if I want to perform some activities. So I will assign or attach the OEM Oracle user to this normal host credential. I'll click on test and save. So I have assigned the root user Oracle user. The same thing goes with the dev server. I need to attach the dev server privileged host credential that is the root user of the dev server. Now can you see guys having a great naming convention it allows your uh, you to navigate faster. I can see that this is the dev server root user details. I'll click on test and save. These are saved and for the dev server I'll click on save. Dev server Oracle user perfect test and save. So what I've done. Earlier, we had created all these named credentials, one by one credential that allow us to log into specific target. Now, I am telling Oracle Enterprise Manager that whenever I want to log into the dev server as root user, then use these preferred credentials. That means it's like I'm saving my preferences, all right? So what I've done is I have defined the like credentials for the host. The next important thing as a DBA is I need to define the preferred credentials for the database instance. So what I'll do is I'll select database instance, click on manage preferred credentials and see what happens. So default preferred credentials, as I said earlier, in any environment, in case if let's take this as DBA user name and password is same on all the databases, then you define it in the default preferred credentials. But if not, I mean, definitely it will not be, right? So under the target preferred credentials, you can see how many preferences OEM allows you. So for the OEM database, OEM DB, you can see it allows me database host credentials. That means the user that owns the database. Then it allows me to store the sysdba database credentials and then it will also allow me to store the normal database credentials. So the host credentials, by default you need to assign the Oracle user of the OEM server. So OEM server Oracle user because this user owns the Oracle database, right? So I have attached this to this OEM DB host. Now I I mean, I need to give the sysdba database credentials. I'll click on set. Under the name credentials, you can see oemdb underscore sysuser. Now, do you see the power of using great naming conventions? So oemdb underscore sysuser, I am attaching the sysuser name credential to the sysdba database preferred credential, all right? And the normal database credential, that is the dbsnmp user. Can you see oemdb underscore dbsnmp user? Test and save. 
So I have attached all the user ID and password. The same thing for the dev server, I need to assign the dev server host details. I mean the Oracle user that owns the Oracle database, right? Test and save. And the same thing goes with the sysdb user on the dev server. So devdb underscore sys user, test and save. And next is the normal user set. So devdb underscore dbsnmp user, test and save. Now the beauty is, let's take guys, if you have five normal database credentials saved under the named credentials, right? So for the devdb server, you have stored the ID password for the squat user, for the HR user, for your own user, for the Arun user, for the DBS and MP user, right? But in the preferred credentials, I am just saying that whenever I am logging into the target server at full speed, then I mean, I want to use these default credentials, right? So now that all this is set, let me show you how it helps you navigate your environment faster. I'll go to all targets and I want to execute a command onto the host. So I'll go there, I'll go to the execute host command, right? And probably will change the credentials. Now, can you see? It allows you to define preferred credentials. Now, I have already said that whenever there is normal host credential, it should be the Oracle user. And if I want to log in with the privileged host credential, that will be the root user, right? So either I can use the preferred credentials or I can also go to name credentials and define the Oracle user and root user, or I can also give it manually. I don't prefer manual because in a large environment it is, I mean, it will be stupid to remember all the password. So now that we have save the preferred credential. I want to log in with the privileged user that is the root user and I'll just click on OK. And I'm there, right? The same thing if I want to remote file editor, I want to edit a file, right? So I, I can see that the user is Oracle. I want to change the user. If I go to preferred, I want to log in as the root user. I'll just select privileged host credentials, click on OK. Done, right? The same thing goes with, let's take, if we go to all targets and that was host, let us get inside the database instance, okay? I want to stop the database instance. So let us try to do it. I'll go to Oracle database, start up and shut down. Now, can you see, select credentials. So what we need to do is, first we need to define the host credentials. That means how Oracle Enterprise Manager will log into the target database server. So we want to log in with the database host credentials. Remember we attached the name credential to the database host credentials, that is the Oracle user. And the database credential, I want to use, I mean, now it depends. Do you want to log in with the normal database user or the sysdba? Definitely to start and shut down, you need to log in as the sysdba. So, can you see how simple your life becomes and you just click on OK. It will allow you, the operation will be shut down Im immediate. If I click on yes, it will shut down this database. I mean, this was just an example. We'll look at one more example. Let's take this is the database listener, right? I want to probably restart this listener. So I'll go to this hamburger menu, go to control, start up shutdown. It will ask me the credentials. So in the preferred credentials, how do I want to log in? So this is the, if I go to privileged host credential, privilege means root user. Normal means the user that owns the Oracle database. So definitely I need to log in with the normal host credentials and I can click on login. That's it. It simplifies my life. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So what do we learn with named credentials and the preferred credentials? As I said earlier guys, and I'll mention it once again, if you want, you can skip it. But the problem is you need to remember the ID passwords every time for each and every target if you want to work. The beauty is when Oracle Enterprise Manager is giving you an opportunity, an option to store the target credentials, define your preferred credentials, 
within the Oracle Enterprise Manager, it keeps your environment neat and clean. That being said, guys, I will meet you all in the next video.